Now, a lot of times you'll see us out fishing and we'll catch white bass, hybrids, or stripers. Let me tell you what, some of the best eating in the world. If you prepare it right, don't forget to cut the red meat out because that can be a little strong. But if you cut that red meat out, any way you cook it, white, flaky, good, firm flesh fish, to me, some of the best eating out there. And here's a recipe that I think you'll really enjoy. All right, now these are easy to find ingredients. You can find mayonnaise anywhere, fresh garlic. Uh, I grow my own rosemary in my garden, but you can find it in the store in the uh, uh, herb section. And some tapenade. Lemon pepper, a little bit of salt, black pepper, balsamic vinegar, yummy, yummy, and some olive oil. First, we're gonna put six cloves of garlic and about four tablespoons of rosemary into the processor. Grind it up very fine. Now it's very important to get this as fine as you can. Next we're going to take our black olive tapenade, which really adds a Mediterranean hint, and we're going to add six tablespoons to our rosemary and garlic in the processor. Basically black olives, capers, and some roasted red peppers. Oh, it's, del it's delicious. It adds a really nice zing to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm gonna dump it into a bowl. Now I'm gonna take a cup and a half of mayonnaise and add that to our mix of garlic, rosemary, and tapenade. All right, now I'm gonna take this, these ingredients, and I'm gonna mix them up. Oh, it smells good. Now you wanna stir it up enough to all the ingredients are mixed evenly. And you'll notice the more you mix, the darker it'll get. And once you get it nice and even and smooth, you're good to go. Okay, now I kinda got that mixed up. Now I'm gonna take Four teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add that in. Now, I'm gonna take four tablespoons of olive oil and add that to the mix. Now let's add just a little fresh ground pepper, just a little. Stir the pepper in. Now add a little bit of sea salt. Now I've already had some salt on my fish, but I'm gonna add some more. I like a lot of salt and some pepper. I'm gonna turn these over and add a little bit of lemon pepper. And a little bit more sea salt to this other side. Now let's give it some pepper on this side too. Now what I'm gonna do, now I only have three fillets here. So I'm gonna take a big Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put half of this in here and use it as a marinade. Let it soak for about an hour. Fish absorbs stuff real quick so I don't have to soak it very long. After about an hour of marinating in this stuff, I'm gonna put it on the grill. Now you definitely don't wanna cook this at a real high heat. I usually keep it somewhere around medium because you don't want the marinade to burn. I let it cook about seven to eight minutes per side. Also feel free to add more marinade as it cooks. I generally keep on piling on until it's done and it cooks in there and it tastes really, really good. Oh. Okay, if that seemed like a little complicated for all those ingredients, know that it will be coming out in Kentucky Field Magazine in June. And if you're a subscriber to our newsletter, we'll be sending you an email with this recipe on it.